Welcome to Beijing Lifestyles, where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. Today, we're at the Rustic Chef Restaurant in Lime Grove Lifestyle Center. We'll be chatting with David, chef and owner, on how he mixes that European, Mediterranean, and Caribbean flair into one epic menu. So, let's get talking. David, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, first of all, um, I'm from Poland, not many people may know that, and uh, I moved to England when I was 25, so quite a few years ago now. I lived there for almost 15 years before relocating to Barbados. Um, my culinary career start, started very much in London. Prior to that, I was studying economics, and that was what I really wanted to do at the time. But London absolutely um, charmed me with, with its culinary scene, and, and it was an eye-opening experience. So I decided to explore a little bit further, and, and before I knew it, I forgot all about economics and my studies, and, and decided to go into the culinary arts. Uh, following that, I, um, I came to uh, Barbados with, with my wife and discovered this, this beautiful island with um, all these this, this fantastic beaches mm -hmm. and, and great lifestyle. And a few years later, decided to move here and look for opportunities to um, have my own business. That Why the rustic chef as well? And many people ask me that, and I. Quite honestly, the name sticks. I, that's, that's my own personal opinion. It, was, it, it, it captures everything that I love about food mm -hmm. and also became part of me or I became part of it. Yeah. So a lot of people call me rustic because um, it kind of shows in both my personal uh, or personality mm -hmm. and my food. Okay. So that, that is probably one of the best description of me mm -hmm. out there. Your menu, you, you cater to vegan, vegetarian. Tell us a little bit about the menu. Um, so the, the menu is, is uh, comprised of many different, many different uh, cooking techniques mm -hmm. and cuisines. We specifically looking at European because that's close to me, close mm -hmm. to my heart, and uh, close to my experience. But also in the years of working in, especially in London, I was exposed to a lot of different cuisines, and that's that's what you can see on the menus. Pretty much every single dish that's on there has a little bit of a history behind it. Mm -hmm. um, so equally, we want it to be more inclusive and more daring. What is good about the Rustic Chef and what is good about our menu and me specifically is that I am able to create um, custom-made dishes oh, nice. from our menu. And the thing is here that we do a lot of things mm -hmm fresh, a lot of things made from scratch mm -hmm. to order. So therefore, any menu item can be modified and there's a lot of just a small ingredients mm -hmm. that, can, that can turn the menu item into uh, a different, different um, realms of, yes. of food. There's, there's really no limits. The, 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 the only limit is, is, is maybe time. Yeah. But, but we'll be really happy to. And I love that you use a lot of local products yes. and as you said, it's a canvas, you know? The basics and create it based on the person's preference. Yeah, absolutely, is absolutely. Then we we have we're very family oriented. We we we're trying to create an environment for everyone to come and feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And and to me, there's no greater comfort than good food. Oh yeah. So today you created for us the chicken stir fry omelette. Omelette. That's a lot. That is a lot, yes. So tell us a little bit about it. And you said it's popular with the locals? It's incredibly popular. It was created by a bit of a coincidence. Uh -huh. I was looking into uh, maybe doing something of the Asian flavor. Yep. Um, so obviously eggs are very popular in mm -hmm. Asian cuisine, uh, but I wanted to do it in a slightly different fashion. So it doesn't reminisce of any, any dishes that are known. So the omelette was, was probably the most natural thing. And, um, it's just, it looks fantastic and, and it has uh, loads of great flavors. I, oh. I stand by that dish. It's very rustic. Okay, so we're about to try the stir fried chicken omelette. Yeah. For us, there he is. Are you going to try it with me? 
Why not? Yes, no, let's do it. It's like, Chef, you do whatever you want. Pull it the most comfortable way. Mmm. Oh my goodness. What do you think? I'm tasting rice sweet soy sauce. Yeah, that's the teriyaki. But not, it is not basic. I don't know how to explain it. And the veg is perfectly cooked. It is nice, crunchy, mm -hmm. and, and you can distinguish all of the flavors, mm -hmm. despite sauce being quite sweet and powerful. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's that level of freshness coming through. I just felt it. Yeah. yeah the just came through. <laughs> there's one of, one of the, the most interesting things about Asian cuisine, obviously, is, is the levels of flavor. Yeah. You know, and then the world becoming much smaller and then the, the cuisines are fusing together. Yeah, exactly. and, and so, you know, um, and it's great that it's great that a small menu can, can touch on so many different aspects and, and encourage people to come. The good thing about it, it, this one is, is as you saw, everything is prep, prepared fresh from mm -hmm. scratch. So those who don't want chicken, they can have fish, shrimp, chicken. steak. Um, you can go fully vegetarian and just just have stir fry veg, you know, which we've done one of each many times. You also have some events as well. We we started doing um, art parties. We work with a, with a phenomenal local artist. Mm -hmm. um, is um, is a is a wine and sit concept, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is obviously very familiar to to many. Uh, but we we throw a different flair here. We have a, a lovely tapas style menu. Ooh. So as you paint in, you can you can sample different wines and, and you can eat different foods, and it's all fantastically entertaining. Um, it's, it's open to individual groups, mm -hmm. or you could just join um, a, a larger group yeah. for for an evening already. Amazing guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, David, for having us here at the Rustic Chef. It was amazing. Do recommend when you come to Barbados, Lime Grove, like Bell Center, you come down to the Rustic Chef. It's right here, ground floor, right by the fountain. That's yeah. right. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I sure have. I'm going to take some time to enjoy this now. I will see you later in the next video. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, David.